that system out west is heading our way. So we are bracing for some winter weather here across Colorado. Very strong winds, heavy snow at times, but today, yeah, enjoy the mild weather while it lasts. Right now we're at 36 degrees, mostly sunny skies. Your weather headlines, it's going to be warm for this time of the year. Typically, on average, we top out in the low 40s in Denver. This afternoon, we're expecting 60 degrees out at DIA nearly, with more of that snow returning to the mountains late Monday, spreading east across the plains through midweek. So a lot of advisories that have been issued with this upcoming system. You can see indicated here by the shades of purple and winter weather advisory. Heavy snow will first move into our southern mountains, our San Juan, on Greater Cristo mountain ranges. Then the system will swirl over the northeastern corner of Colorado, creating some very treacherous travel with gusty winds, snow heavy at times falling over the I-76 corridor, and eventually our northern and central mountains also seeing that snowfall in through at least Wednesday. So radar and satellite right now, dry conditions across Colorado and temperature wise. We're already in the upper 30s downtown, low 30s into Colorado Springs, still a cold morning into the mountains, but seasonal for this time of the year. Zero right now in Gunnison, but this time yesterday we were well below zero. So today's forecast will warm up statewide for the metro area by 10, getting to 47 degrees noon, 57 and our daytime highs will be in the high 50s, low 60s from Highlands Ranch up through Keensburg and even into Boulder 40s returning to Estes Park, Allen's Park, Frisco and further off to the west near Aspen and Telluride. So really mild day into the mountains as well. 50 degrees in Grand Junction with low to mid and even upper 60s over the southeastern corner of the state. So if you're heading out watching the Broncos take on the Chiefs 205 by 4 o'clock in Denver will be at 57 degrees. So still pretty mild by that point. Sunset though at 435 and will cool down upper 40s by 6 under a partly cloudy sky. Here's a look at future cast is not going to be quite as cold later on tonight with a little more of that cloud cover. You can see by the morning hours will drop down to the 30s, even some low 40s to start the day, but then we'll start to see snow move into the mountains and you can see indicated here by the darker shades of blue becoming heavier through midday and early afternoon Monday. Gusty winds over the plains still staying dry for the morning and evening commute here for the metro, but early Tuesday morning. If you do have any travel plans, be prepared for snow, especially uh, heaviest over the northeast corner of Colorado from Akron, Sterling up through Julesburg and into our northern mountains. The I-70 corridor chain and traction laws set to take effect and snow total wise could see around 8 to 16 inches over higher terrain, especially for our northern and central mountains when all is said and done on Wednesday. Right now the metro area looking at around 1 to 3 inches, so not a huge snow event for us, but over the northeastern plains upwards of 4 to 8 inches, inches Akron out to the east. Here's a look at our super 7 day forecast. Temperatures will take a big hit by Tuesday. 32 degrees for a high overnight lows in the teens and we're going to stay really chilly all week long. A few flurries lingering on Wednesday as that system rolls out a frigid cold morning on Thursday as skies clear and then only in the 20s and 30s to round out the week, Jessica.